song of Pins and Needles, which opened November 1937. We had been rehearsing for a year with members of the International Ladies' Garment Workers Union, and one of my real memories is how I thought of that song. Uh, we needed a theme song. We didn't have one, and I can remember standing in the shower in my apartment on 37th Street one Sunday morning and suddenly singing to myself, sing me a song of social significance or I won't love you. I jumped out of the shower, still wet, wrote it down, dried off, and finished the rest of the song, and that stayed the theme song of Pins and Needles for the four years it ran. Uh, the ILGWU, that's International Ladies' Garment Workers' Union to you, had a cultural department where they taught the uh, union members tap dancing, mandolin playing, elocution, I think even embroidery, and singing. And from that group, we got the cast of Pins and Needles uh, to rehearse. They came three days a week after work from 7 to 10. Pins and Needles was the dream of Louis Schaefer, who was the head of the cultural department, of the ILGWU, he wanted to do a musical review. The board was against his doing it. They thought it was too frivolous. So what he did, and this is a secret, I'm telling it for the first time, is that he hired a whole professional company, hired me to write the show, and we did two performances of the show at labor stage uh, so that he could persuade the board that the show was worthwhile doing. After they saw it, they agreed with him and uh, let the show go on to be rehearsed for a year. One of the numbers in the show was a number which I had auditioned for Louis Schaefer that had originally been done at Green Mansions where I was writing the songs for the summer shows. It was called Nobody Makes a Pass at Me and it lasted in pins and needles for the whole four years. <laughs> I want men that I can squeeze, that I can please, that I can tease. Two or three or four or more. What are those fools waiting for? I want love and I want kissing. I want more. 
of what I'm missing. Nobody comes knocking at my front door. What do they think my knocker's for? If they don't come soon, there won't be any more. What can the matter be? I wash my clothes with Lux. My etiquette's the best. I spend my hard-earned bucks on just what the ants suggest. I'm full of Kellogg's Bran. Eat great nuts on the sly. A date is on the can of the coffee that I buy. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Nobody makes a pass at me. Oh, Beatrice Fairfax, give me the bare facts. How do you make them? be any use to me at all. I sprinkle on a dash of fragrance, the amour, the ant says makes men rash. I guess their smell is poor. Oh dear, what can the matter be? I use Ovaltine and Listerine, Barbasol and Musterol, Light Boy Soap and Flip. So why ain't I got it? I use Coca-Cola and Marmola, Crisco, Lesco and Mazola, x lax and Vapex. So why ain't I got sex? I use Abilene and Maybelline, Alka-Seltzer, Bromaseltzer, Odorono and Sensation. So why ain't I? from best times that say they're chic and up above I'm dressed in the brassiere of the week I use pawns on my skin with rye crisp I thin <laughs> I get my culture in I began gone with the wind the pants at me. Oh, Dorothy Dix, please show me some tricks, please. I want some man to hold. I want attention and things I can't mention, and I want them all before I get to old. I use mom every day and Angelus Nibelor. But still, men stay awake. <laughs> Hundred percent pure. What can the matter be? Nobody makes a piss at me. You know, I didn't realize that Pins and Needles was going to be such a big hit. I was playing one of the pianos in the orchestra, and I continued to play the piano for four months until I realized that the crowds outside and the fact that you couldn't get a ticket to it uh, were enabled me to leave the show to write another one. I didn't realize what the big attraction was, which I think was for the show, which was that the garment workers themselves were doing the show and singing to the audience, making a rapport which you can get in the theater, which is very rare. Now, there's a show on Broadway now called A Chorus Line, in which the people who are doing it are the dancers, the gypsies, talking to the audience. And it has that same kind of uh, communicative thing. I did it in another show I wrote called Call Me Mister, which opened in 1946 
where everybody in the cast was an ex-serviceman. It gave the audience a sense of identification with the people. Uh, Pins and Needles went through a lot of additions and changes. We kept adding numbers, and Louis Schaefer kept doing things against all show business rules. When I would chide him, he'd say, I'm not in show business. I'm in the union business. And finally, he took the whole first company and sent it on the road and put a second company in against my objection again. And then later on, he put the second company on the road and put a third company in. But nothing went wrong. It seemed that he couldn't go wrong in spite of the fact that he was doing everything against everything, every rule I had in show business. Some and class conscious last As sweet as the flowers in springtime She worked at the men's pants machine Her sweetheart close by at another While union love blossomed serene One day little Bertha was sewing Not knowing that danger was near A villain espied her and pause there beside her, a non-union man with a was oily and polished he asked little Bertha to dine he charmed her with sweet conversation and fiendishly plied her with wine while Bertha was sowing her wild oats mixed black caviar and champagne her poor union lover was waiting at local 16 all in vain Non-union cad, he was thoroughly bad. He did just what you all would expect. Sent little Bertha. I didn't suspect that this guy, contrary to all union bylaws, had six other wives on the side. Oh, many the lies that he told her. This slicker had some gift of gab. And finally at midnight they ran off. He looked in a non union cab. This villain took her to a hotel and there tried to soil her good name. Our hero pursued her, ran in and rescued her, just in time to hear her exclaim. It's better with the union man. It's better with the union man.
Another virtue that Pins and Eagles had was that we didn't mind poking fun at ourselves, as that last song shows. Uh, and also, we would take figures in the news and really talk about them. One was uh, J. Edgar Hoover, who had never been made fun of before, and that we uh, had a song called I Want to Be a G-Man, in which we poked very gentle fun at him, not so gentle that Walter Winchell didn't ban me from his column for a year because of the song. Uh, but those were times when people wanted to hear about what was going on, and Pins and Needles did that. When I grow up, I don't want to be a fireman. Ah, that's just kid stuff. Yeah, that's just kid stuff. When I grow up, I don't want to be a policeman. Ah, they ain't tough enough. Nah, they ain't tough enough. When I grow up, I don't want to work for the city. My old man says it takes too much out of you. Union's body you. So I don't care to be mayor like LaGuardia. When I grow up, I got my plan C. It may not be just quite as fancy. Some people might wish, but boy, it's just my dish. I'll give you just a hint. I wouldn't want to be an A man or a B man or a C man or a D man or an E man or an F man. Get it? But I'd like to be a G man and go bang, 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 bang. I'd be a break and bust an E man and go bang, bang. of all different sizes and would I win prizes for telling who spies it geez but I'd like to be a G-man and go bang 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 stick them up bang 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 so you won't talk eh I'd be known in all the best spots of New York like 21 and 18 and the store to all the smartest nightclubs I would go to find out all the things that a G-man ought to know. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. And after I'd gone out and got my man to Palm Beach, I would go to get my tan. While making merry, I'd be fancy free. Cause Mrs. Winchell's boy would be watching out for me. Gee, but I'd like to be a G-man and go bang, 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 bang. Just like the tricks you want a He-Man and go bang, 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 bang. I do as I please, act high-handed and regal. Cause when you're a G-man, there's nothing illegal. Gee, but I'd like to be a G-man. I mean, I picture too. Bang, 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 bang. We had our enthusiasms too, and we wanted to say hooray for FDR. There was a way to do it with English, as we call it. We had a song where people named their son Franklin D. Roosevelt Jones. As a matter of fact, I used to get letters from people with birth announcements after this song came out. It's a big holiday everywhere For the Jones family has a brand new heir He's the joy heaven sent And we proudly present Mr. Franklin D. Roosevelt Jones When he grows up he never will stray With a name like the one that he's got today As he walks down the street will say please to meet Mr. Franklin D. Roosevelt Jones. What a smile and how he shows it. He'll keep happy all day long. What a name, I'll bet he knows it. 
with that handle, how can he go wrong? And the folks in the town all agree. He'll be famous, as famous as he can be. How can he be a dud or a stick in the mud when he's Franklin D. Roosevelt Jones? Now for the love song in Pins and Needles. At that time, if any of you in the audience are old enough to remember, there were two unions, the AFL and the CIO, and we were hoping they would get together, and the slogan for them was one big union. So I took that idea and made it into the love song. I'm on a campaign to make you mine. I'll picket you until you sign in one big union for two. No court's injunction can make me stop until our love is all closed shop in one big union for two. Seven days a week I want the right to call you mine both day and night. The hours may be long, but 50 million union members can't be wrong. When we have signed up and made the grade, we'll add a member union maid who looks like me and like you. In this edition of Pins and Needles, we've left out all the sketches, some of which were in each edition, because somehow the sketches have aged when the songs haven't. There were sketches about uh, Father Coughlin and Fritz Kuhn. There were sketches about the WPA. There was a sketch about uh, a, a takeoff on Clifford Odets. And the sketches were written by some very talented people, like uh, Mark Blitzstein, Arthur Aaron, Joseph Schrank, but now we've kept just the uh, songs. And one of the songs that still has a warm place in my heart is a song called Sunday in the Park, which was my first song on the hit parade from Pins and Needles. I'll never forget driving down Fifth Avenue with my new wife in my new Oldsmobile convertible and turning on the radio and hearing my song on the hit parade. All week long I work in the shop. I work and work and never stop. Get up at six and go to bed at nine. But the day I think is the best is Sunday. That's my chance to rest. The only day that you might say is mine. We'll leave our hot and stuffy flat. There's one place that we know. And a subway to the public park. Oh. That's the place to go on a Sunday in the park. All week long we keep on looking forward to the happy things we do. It's such a lark on Sunday in the park. Sitting in the sun with the trees and grass and flowers everywhere and lots of room to spare. We have such fun on Sunday in the park. Rich folks go away to the country, you know, when the days get hot. But we all decided that we wouldn't go. We prefer this quiet spot on Sunday in the park. It's our summer home where we can play in sport, our fashionable resort, until it's dark on Sunday in the park. I'm tired of moon songs, I'm tired of tombstones, they simply make me nap. 
romantic, drive me nearly frantic. I think they're all full of pap. History's making, nations are quaking, why sing the stars above? But while we are waiting, by the time's creating, new things to be singing of. Sing me a song with social significance, all other tunes are taboo. I want a ditty with heat in it, appealing with feeling and meat in it. Sing me a song with social significance, or you can sing till you're blue. Let meaning shine from every line, or I won't love you. Sing me of wars and sing me of bread lines, tell me of front page news. Sing me of strikes and last minute headlines, dress your observation in syncopation. Sing me a song with social significance, there's nothing else that will do. It must get hot with what is what, or I won't love you. Sing me a song with social significance, all other tunes are taboo. Satirical and putting the mirror into miracle. Sing me a song with social significance, or you can sing till you're blue. It must be packed with social fact, or I won't love you. Sing me of kings and conferences, Marshall. Tell me of mills and mines. Sing me of courts that aren't impartial. What's to be done with them? We want it in rhythm. that song. Uh, we needed a theme song. We didn't have one. And I can remember standing in the shower in my apartment on 37th Street one Sunday morning and suddenly singing to myself, sing me a song of social significance or I won't love you. I jumped out of the shower, still wet, wrote it down, dried off, and finished the rest of the song. And that stayed the theme song of Pins and Needles for the four years it ran. Uh, the ILGWU, that's International Ladies Garment Workers Union to you, had a cultural department where they taught the uh, union members tap dancing, mandolin playing, elocution, I think even embroidery, and singing. And from that group, we got the cast of Pins and Needles. Uh, to rehearse. They came three days a week after work from 7 to 10. Pins and Needles was the dream of Louis Schaefer, who was the head of the cultural department of the ILGWU. He wanted to do a musical review. The board was against his doing it. They thought it was too frivolous. So what he did, and this is a secret, I'm telling it for the first time, is that he hired a whole professional company, hired me to write the show, and we did two performances of the show at labor stage uh, so that he could persuade the board that the show was worthwhile doing. After they saw it, they agreed with him and uh, let the show go on to be rehearsed for a year. One of the numbers in the show was a number which I had auditioned for Louis Schaefer that had originally been done at Green Mansions where I was writing the songs for the summer shows. It was called Nobody Makes a Pass at Me, and it lasted in pins and needles for the whole four years. I want men that I can squeeze, that I can please, that I can tease. Two or three or four or more. What are those fools waiting for? I want love and I want kissing. I want more of what I'm missing. Nobody comes knocking at my front door. What do they think my knocker's for? If they don't come soon, there won't be any more. What can the matter be? 
wash my clothes with lux, my etiquette's the best. I spend my hard-earned bucks on just what the ads suggest. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Nobody makes a pass at me. I'm full of Kellogg's Gran, eat great nuts on the sly. A date is on the can of the coffee that I buy. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Nobody makes a pass at me. Oh, Beatrice Fairfax, give me the bare facts. How do you make a If you don't save me, the things the Lord gave me never will be to me at all. I sprinkle on a dash of fragrance, the amour. The ad says makes men rash. I guess their smell is poor. Oh dear, what can the matter be? Nobody makes a pass at me. I use Ovaltine and Listerine, Barbasol and Musterol, Life Boy Soap and Flip. So why ain't I got it? I use Coca-Cola and Marmola, Crisco, Lesco and Mazola, x Max and Vapex. So why ain't I got sex? I use Abilene and Maybelline, Alka-Seltzer, Bromaseltzer, Odorono and Sensation. So why ain't I from best times that say they're chic and up above i'm dressed in the brazier of the week i use pawns on my skin with rye crisp i thin <laughs> i get my culture in i began gone with the wind makes a pass at me. Oh, Dorothy Dix, please show me some tricks, please. I want some man to hold. I want attention and things I can't mention. And I want them all before I get too old. I use mom every day and Angelus for 100% pure. What can the matter be? Nobody makes a piss at me. You know, I didn't realize that Pins and Needles was going to be such a big hit. I was playing one of the pianos in the orchestra, and I continued to play the piano for four months until I realized that the crowds outside and the fact that you couldn't get a ticket to it uh, were enabled me to leave the show to write another one. I didn't realize what the big attraction was, which I think was for the show, which was that the garment workers themselves were doing the show and singing to the audience, making a rapport which you can get in the theater, which is very rare. Now, there's a show on Broadway now called A Chorus Line, in which the people who are doing it are the dancers, the gypsies, talking to the audience. And it has that same kind of uh, communicative thing. I did it in another show I wrote called Call Me Mister, which opened in 19... Sing of stars above. While we are waiting, our designs creating new things to be thinking of. Sing me a song with social significance. All other tunes are done. I want a dish.
crazy with heat in it. A feeling with feeling and meat in it. Sing me a song with social significance. Or you can sing to your blue. Let meaning shine on every life. Or I won't love you. Sing me a war. Hey, sing me a bread line. Tell me a front page news. Sing me a fright. And last minute headline. Dress your observation. satirical and putting the mirror into miracle sing me a song with social significance or you can sing till you're blue it must be packed with social fact or i won't love you sing me a gate and conferences marshal tell me of mills and mines sing me a court that aren't impartial what's to be done with us we want That was the theme song of Pins and Needles, which opened November 1937. We had been rehearsing for a year with members of the International Ladies Garment Workers Union. And one of my real memories is how I felt in 46, where everybody in the cast was an ex-serviceman. It gave the audience a sense of identification with the people. Uh, Pins and Needles went through a lot of additions and changes. We kept adding numbers, and Louis Schaefer kept doing things against all show business rules. When I would chide him, he'd say, I'm not in show business. I'm in the union business. And finally, he took the whole first company and sent it on the road and put a second company in against my objection again. And then later on, he put the second company on the road and put a third company in. But nothing went wrong. It seemed that he couldn't go wrong in spite of the fact that he was doing everything against everything, every rule I had in show business. Some and class conscious last As sweet as the flowers in springtime She worked at the men's pants machine Her sweetheart close by at another While union love blossomed serene One day little Bertha was sewing Not knowing that danger was near A villain espied her and pause there beside her, a non-union man with a Oily and polished, he asked little Bertha.